Many of us love to play guitar. A guitar is a musical instrument that usually has six strings. Do you know from which material these strings are made of? These strings are made of metals. Metals produce a ringing sound when hit with another object. This property is called sonority and a metal is said to be sonorous. It is the property of sonority which is used for making bells and strings of musical instruments like sitar and violin. Metals have a shiny surface. This property is called metallic luster. Metals like gold, silver, copper, etc. shine and reflect light. Hence, they are lustrous. Due to this, metals are used in making jewelry and statues. Shown here are the four metals, namely iron, copper, magnesium and aluminium. Just by looking at them, we can say that metals have shiny surfaces. Metals are strong and hard and their hardness varies from metal to metal. Let us perform an activity to understand the hardness of metals. Take small pieces of iron, copper, sodium and potassium. Now try to cut these metals with a sharp knife and note your observations. You will notice that sodium and potassium metals are soft metals and can be cut with a knife while iron and copper cannot be cut with a knife. So we can say that metals are generally hard and their hardness varies from metal to metal. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Therefore, they are used for making cooking utensils and electrical gadgets. Let us perform an activity to show that metals are good conductors of heat. Take an iron rod and fix an iron nail at one end of the rod with the help of wax. Keep the rod in the horizontal position with the help of a clamp stand. Heat the iron rod with the help of a burner. Keep the burner at the side that is far from the iron nail. After some time, wax starts melting and the iron nail falls down. In spite of heating at the other end, the wax melts because of the thermal conductivity of the iron rod. The reason is that iron is a metal and it conducts heat from one end to the other end. From this activity, we can conclude that metals are good conductors of heat and have high melting points. Silver is the best conductor of heat and lead is the poorest conductor of heat. You must have seen wires attached to electrical gadgets such as toaster, television sets, computers, etc. These wires are made up of metals and they are covered with rubber or plastic. Do you know why? It is so because the metals are good conductors of electricity. If we touch such wires while the electricity is passing through them, then we will get an electric shock. Let us perform another activity to check the electrical conductivity of metals. Take an iron nail and an aluminium wire. Now, connect an iron nail in the open ends of the wires A and B in the circuit. Notice, the bulb glows when an iron nail is connected in the circuit. Repeat the same procedure with aluminium wire. You will find that bulb glows when iron nail and aluminium wire are connected to the open ends of the wires. It means metals are good conductors of electricity. Silver, copper, gold, platinum and aluminium have high electrical conductivity. After studying the properties such as hardness, thermal conductivity, electrical conductivity and sonority, we can say that metals are hard, sonorous and good conductors of heat and electricity.